Hello, I'm Brian Powell, and in this video I will be showing you some examples of scattering patterns. For this purpose, I have written a small program, which you will be seeing in this talk. As you may know, what we see on the detector of a small angle scattering machine is mathematically identical to observing the intensity of the Fourier transform of the real space electron density. It sounds complicated, but it's just a way of saying that, uh, that we take whatever sample we want to look at, put it through a mathematical operator, and we end up with our scattering pattern. This is fairly easy to do on a computer, so this is what you're seeing here. This display here shows you the output of my laptop camera, on which I will show some examples of structures you will find in the samples. On this display to my left, over here, your right, you see the intensity of the Fourier transform for the camera image. Uh, in other words, you can see what we, what we will see on the detector of a small angle scattering mach machine for these samples. Starting with a simple sphere, you see that the detector shows us some repeating rings. For a smaller sphere, the period of the rings becomes larger. And due to Babinet's principle, the inverted image gives us exactly the same scattering pattern. Different shapes show different scattering patterns, such as cubes, squares, which can be rotated, and ellipsoids, which can be also, also rotated. You'll see here that the oscillation frequency for the ellipsoid is highest in the long dimension and lowest along the short dimension. For dense but monodispersed systems, uh, <coughs> we still see these oscillations like this. But when we introduce polydispersity, the oscillations of the spheres of different sizes have different frequencies and overlap, and therefore we cannot distinguish the individual oscillations anymore. For the crystallographers among you, regular structures such as this lattice will give you your distraction, uh, will give you your diffraction spots. So that's it. If you have a MacBook and MATLAB, download a copy of this program and start playing around. Feel free to ask me if you have any question and uh, let me know if you use this in any presentation. Good luck. Bye-bye.